Hi, this is Zach Log the Great. A Cliché Came Out of Its Cage by C.S. Lewis 1. You said the world is going back to paganism. Oh, bright vision! I saw our dynasty in the bar of the house spill from their tumblers, a libation to the Aranyes. And Levis, with Lord Russell, wreathed in flowers, heralded with flutes, leading white bulls to the cathedral of the solemn muses, to pay where due the glory of their latest theorem. Hastia's fire, in every flat rekindled, burned before the larder gods, unmarried daughters with obedient hands tended it. Beside the hearth, the white-armed, venerable mother, Domam servabat, lanam fasiabat. At the hour of sacrifice, their brothers came, silent, corrected, grave, before the elders. Upon their downy cheeks, easily the blush arose. It is the mark of Freeman's children. As they trooped, gleaming with oil, demurely home from the palestra or the dance, Walk carefully. Do not wake the envy of the happy gods. Shun hubris, the middle of the road. The middle sort of men are best. Eidos surpasses gold. Reverence for the aged is wholesome as seasonable rain. And for a man to die, defending the city in battle, is a harmonious thing. Thus, with magistral hands, the Puritan Sophrosyn cooled and schooled and tempered our uneasy motions. Heathendom came again, the circumspection and the holy fears. You said it. Did you mean it? How oh, inordinate liar, stop. Two. Or did you mean another kind of heathenry? Think, then, that under heaven roof, the little disk of earth, fortified Midgard, lies encircled by the ravening worm. Over its icy bastions, faces of giant and troll look in, ready to invade it. The wolf, admittedly, is bound. But the bond will break. The beast run free. The weary gods, scarred with old wounds. The one-eyed Odin, Tyr, who has lost a hand, will limp to their stations at the last defense. Make it your hope to be counted worthy to stand beside them on that day. For the end of man is to partake of their defeat and die the second, final death in good company. The stupid, strong, unteachable monsters are certain to be victorious at last, and every man of decent blood is on the losing side. Take as your model the tall women with yellow hair in plates who walked back into burning houses to die with men, or him who, as the death spear entered into his vitals, made critical comments on its workmanship and aim. Are these the pagans you spoke of? Know your betters and crouch, dogs, you that have beachy water in your veins, and worship the event, your goddess, history.
whom your fathers called the strumpet. <laughs>